So we're going to be pitting the x-axis together on the PM940M CNC kit. And I had it running for a little while and everything, but I had to flip the stepper. I want to flip the stepper motor to the other side because it's in my way right now. I put my toolboxes over here and instead of on the other side. So anyhow, the thing with the 940M is the screws that hold the X-nut um, go in from underside of the Y mount, which most of the R45s come in from the top. So that means your choice is to either pull the table and flip it upside down to get to the bolts where you can go through the side down there, you can take off the side panel and work upside down. In my case, I can't get the table off while it's on the Y mount in that direction because it hits the uh, wall and in the other direction because it hits my other CNC mill. So uh, it's just as well this, for me to have two people slide the table off with the Y carriage on it and then just pull it off that way. Now one thing I do want to say, now here's your uh, two bolts, you got nice big bosses on it. Now on the X, on my table, if you look at the end bolts, there's two M8s and oh, here we go. They're not tapped all that deep and they're a little bit close to the edge of the castings, which I really don't like. So what I did is I tapped them deeper and then I run right, I dropped it. There we go. I run a nice long bolt so it goes down like that far. Now on the motor mount side it's probably not a big deal, but on the uh, On the bearing side, there's quite a bit of force on the CNC. So what we're going to do, I already pit the, uh, the two bolts in here, but you would, line, you would line up your nut and get your bolts in there close. And I'm not going to tighten them up very much at all. Now I got my uh, bearing mount on one side and I can move it just a little bit. And then I'm going to stick on the uh, the stepper side assembly. Now on the stepper side assembly, some goo from the table came off, there we go. It has a carrier bearing on one side. Now the carrier bearing goes underneath the table and the entire piece will clear the Y mount so you get a ton of travel out of this thing. It goes all the way till it hits the ball nut which is like crazy so you can go a long way. So I, uh, you got a race, there's a step on the sleeve of the ball screw. It's actually a pretty easy assembly. And if everything's all straight, these bolts will go in without any trouble. There. And your coupler goes on the end, and then you got an adapter plate for the uh, NEMA 34 steppers. So I've already done this and it all lines up straight. This kit turned out really nice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna snug up this end. And I am gonna be putting this back together all the way here in probably five or 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up my nuts or my bolts pretty much all the way because I plan on taking this off again for a while. My ball screw is ready to go. Now I didn't put the grease circ. Eventually I want to get an extension on the grease circ so it will stick out here so I can get the grease gun on it easier. There is enough room in here where I can get the grease gun underneath there and give it a squirt. Um, right now I don't. So that's it actually. Now I normally I would run it back and forth. You got the uh, nut on the end. You can put a nut driver on it. I'd run it back and forth and check for binding. Now, I've already done all that, so this axis actually works really well. So actually, that's it. Now that it's done, we're gonna 
I'm going to grab my helper. We're going to flip it upside down or right side up and slide it on the axis. And uh, that's the uh, Y mount, or I'm sorry, X mount on the uh, PM940 CNC kit. Thanks, guys.